Hi, I'm Julie from the lifestyle website, julieblanner.com. Today I'm sharing a little bit of our holiday decor with you, along with several of my friends on YouTube. You can find all the other fabulous Christmas tours by watching the playlist below. This year, I wanted to integrate some really easy decor, but in a very different way than how I have in the past. I decided to use pre-made garlands. It's effortless, but yet so very beautiful and dramatic. It adds a little bit of elegance for a very minimal effort. You can find some garlands at your local hardware store. A lot of grocery stores will carry them this time of year, but I ended up ordering mine online. However you do it, it's an easy and beautiful way to decorate. The garland I used this year integrates pepperberry, which drapes so beautifully, along with bay leaves and eucalyptus, and it filled our home with the most beautiful scent. I wish she could be here to enjoy it as well. I've integrated garland over our doorways, our mantle, and of course our stairwell for the most dramatic of all. On the stairwell, I've also incorporated a number of battery operated candles. Their flicker is so real and yet they all come on on a timer and go off at the end of the day. So we get to enjoy them without any fuss or mess. They easily transfer from the stairwell to our table when we're entertaining. They look so authentic that my youngest child, Isla, peered in closely to see if they were in fact real or faux. And I call that a win. You can find more details about them and shop them in the description below. Each year, our family travels to a Christmas tree farm and we cut down our own tree. But since I'm sharing this with you a little earlier this year, I needed something to fill the space until we cut down our tree. And I ended up finding a tree that I felt absolutely head over heels in love with. It's very sparse and beautiful and most importantly, pre-lit. The lighting makes it feel so magical and yet so effortless. It took just less than 10 minutes to put up and about another 30 to decorate. I tied bows onto the ends of the tree for a little touch of whimsy and elegance. Beautiful garlands of pearls and crystal draped from the branches as well as monochromatic ornaments. In the kitchen, I integrated olive branches to the top of my lanterns and tied them with a big, thick silk ribbon. A simple olive wreath hangs from our kitchen window, also with a thick ivory ribbon. And it looks so simple and beautiful, but yet feels so festive. In our dining room, I added yet another wreath, this one again filled with eucalyptus, bay, and pepperberry, and tied it with a silk ribbon. And I also hung one adjacent from it on the window using just a simple 3M hook. You would never believe it, but I actually filled our foot bath with a wreath. I pushed down the wreath so that it garnished the edges of the foot bath and then filled it with a few extra olive branches and then tucked in some really large pine cones. It makes that space feel so beautiful, but yet it was so incredibly simple. Also in the entryway, I added my thick, cozy throw blanket so the girls could warm up when they get home from school. And I filled my iCat vase with an abundance of olive branches. So simple, yet so beautiful, and we can enjoy it all season long by just refilling the water and maybe once trimming an inch off of the end of the branches. In the girls' rooms, we've made them feel a little bit magical by incorporating some twinkle lights. In our master bedroom, we made it feel extra cozy by adding an extra thick plush quilt in ivory, perfect color for winter, and then a few additional wreaths, one in each side of our bedside tables and another hanging over the window. Little touches go a long way for the holidays. In our upstairs hallway, I've once again added our stockings. I used to keep them over the fireplace, but I found that the kids really get excited on Christmas morning to dig into their stockings, and we don't quite want them to go downstairs yet because we want to catch the magic on their faces. So it's so fun to have them in the hallway just outside of their doors. In the breakfast room, I created two large and several small flower arrangements that I can give to guests as they go home or use in other ways throughout our home, like in our mudroom. And of course I added candlelight. It always adds so much ambiance, but it's so simple. These candlesticks have long been one of my favorite vintage finds. Mm -hmm. 
In the mudroom, yet another simple touch. I just replaced a picture that we had in there with a wreath and one of the arrangements from our kitchen table. One of the most frequently asked questions I receive during the holidays is how I keep greens fresh or how long they remain fresh or do I need to replace these mid-season? And the answer is, it doesn't really matter. Of course, there are ways to keep your greens fresher. You can soak your wreaths before hanging them. You can clip the ends of branches about an inch and soak them in water. And of course, a lot of the prep work beforehand, keeping them cool and soaking them in water before you're ready. I'll link more details to that in the description below. I keep everything as fresh as I possibly can until I'm ready to hang it by keeping it out in the cold, cool air or in our garage. However, once I hang it, I'm perfectly okay with allowing it to dry as long as I have it draped exactly how I want it when I hang it. We use the same greens all the way from two weeks before Thanksgiving, since I decorate a little early for you all, to about the week after Christmas. And it really looks so beautiful as it dries, even as it loses a little bit of its color. I think it looks just as beautiful either way. Since I'm often asked about our art or TV right behind me, I thought I would share a little bit more about it. It's actually so fun because during the holidays especially, we can change the photos. Right now I have it on a beautiful piece of art, but I can change that to one of our family photos. My mom and my uncle's Christmas card from the 50s or the girls last year visiting Santa, all on the touch of my phone. You can learn more about how our TV also functions as art in the description below. Don't forget to follow along on everyone's holiday decor in the playlist below, and continue to follow me by clicking subscribe for more easy, entertaining home decor and recipe ideas.